Okay, to begin with, we're going to scroll down to the resources section of the activity page. Um, we're going to need this to help us visualize a little applet. Down there, you can see the start of the snakes and ladders board. There's always a, also a printable version if you're going to do it on paper instead in front of you with some counters. And if you don't have a die, there's one here we can use. Um, the first thing you have to do to get started is to answer a question. So if I look at here, you either have to answer 21 ninths or 21 twelfths. Um, and that counter, let's move it back. Um, so I could use this to help me do that. I'm not going to do that question in particular because I don't want to give the game away. I'm going to do 28 eights. What's that as a mixed number? Something like this. So if I set that to eights and I need 28 of them, well, when you see when I get to eight eights, I've filled up one milker bar. 16 eighths, I've milked up two milker bars. I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to go one at a time if I want to. 24 and I need 28. How many holes is that altogether? Three holes, and I've got four eights left over, or three and a half. So 28 eights is three and a half is a mixed number. What about a mixed number? Well, I've got three holes and six elevenths. The elevenths, that denominator again, tells you how many pieces to split your chocolate bars into. So I'm going to split them into 11 pieces each. I'm just going to get rid of the numerator for now. 11 pieces. There we go. Oh, and 11 elevenths is one hole. Again, I can use the arrow keys if I want to be really precise and change that. So how many to get two holes? 22, 33 elevenths make three holes, three times 11, and I've got six left over. There's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So altogether that's 39 numerator elevenths, and now you've changed that mixed number into an improper fraction. And you can see why they're the same thing. That's the key thing. Um, so then I'm allowed to have a go. So I need a virtual die because I, I don't have one in front of me right now. Um, so I'm just going to click on the virtual die. You've got a choice of six or eight. It depends how fast you want to go. Your teacher will tell you. I click on it to spin the die. I've got one. Great. Um, now I go back to the board and I can move one space. I don't think I'm going to win at the moment. Um, so you've got to make your way first one to the finish. Best of luck. You go up the ladders and down the snakes. If you want to check each other so you don't have to wait for your teacher to check or get into arguments, never a good thing. Um, here's a video showing you how to do that with a number of different models of calculators. Have a good time.